Good evening. <laughs> I got roped into this, you know. <laughs> I have a couple of intros for um, our dear guests. The first one is Candace James. Candace James is a professional musician, singer, songwriter, visual artist, and poet laureate of New Westminster. Founder, president of Royal City Literary Arts, past president of Federation of BC Writers, founder of Poetry in the Park, co-founder of Poetic Justice, and panelist for Word on the Street, Black Dot Cultural Roots. Page to Stage, Orature and Storytelling. Awarded Distinguished Poet when 2013, she's judged the Jessamy Sturzberg Youth Poetry Award and Raymond Souster Poetry Award. Candace has five books of poetry, Midnight Embers, Libros Liberta, Shorelines, Bridges and Clouds, Inner Heart, Silver Bow, and A Split in the Water. And of course, she has her books here for sale. Alan Hill originates from the English-Welsh borders. He has traveled extensively and worked in jobs ranging from renovating old graveyards to working in a jelly bean factory. <laughs> Alan began writing while working in Botswana where he met his Canadian wife-to-be and he arrived in Canada in 2005. He has just published his second poetry collection, The Broken Word. His poetry has appeared in Canada in CV2, Canadian Literature, Vancouver Review, Antigonish Review, Quills, Subterrain, and Poetry is Dead. In the UK, in South the Wolf, in, pardon me, in South, The Wolf, and Turbulence, and in the United States, in the Dallas Review, and in some international anthologies. Best wishes, Alan. Photo coming soon. That's what it says here. Uh, <laughs> Alan also has had an article in the Richmond Review just recently. So, congratulations, Alan, and welcome to you both. It's always a pleasure to see them. Okay, uh, not remind. Uh, do I read more? Or do I pull? What do I do now, Ellen? Now you're invited Candice to come forth. All right, Candice, would you come forth? <laughs> if you come fifth, you lose the race and a case of beer to boot. <laughs> uh, everybody's always taller than me, except Janet over there. Can't wait till she comes up, she'll pull it down even further. I'm really happy to be here. It's always a thrill to come out to Maple Ridge, where some of the very best people live, and I see the very best of the best are here tonight. And uh, I have a couple of books here for sale. The one that uh, we're launching and uh, signing tonight particularly came to be because my granddaughter is autistic, but she has a flair for art. So I thought, I'll take some of her artwork from school. So I took eight of her pieces of artwork. And that's all it was going to be to begin with. And then I added a bit of my own. And then I thought, well, you know, I should put some good artists in here. So I went out and found a few good artists that wanted to go in the book. So every page, there's a poem on this side and a painting on the other. So and it's all full color and it looks very nice. And of course, my granddaughter's thrilled to death. So my my heart is happy for her because she's she's gonna be special needs all her life. It's she's a, she's beautiful, but she just can't quite function like we do. So it is a a book of villanelles. Villanelles kind of have a repetitive touch to them, and they're a bit like a lullaby in their own way. They're soothing. So we'll start with one called Marble and Frost. On the marble tiled floor of my memory, the paintings shine from the walls, 
in the frosted blue mirror above me. A cobalt river runs to the sea through darkened canyons with white waterfalls on the marble tiled floor of my memory. And always you come back to me in ghostly murmurs and calls in the frosted blue mirror above me. In the hollow depths of my reverie, a shadow from yesterday shawls on the marble tiled floor of my memory. A ribbon of sunset surrounds me as burnt ink indelibly scrawls in the frosted blue mirror above me. Your image always will be flowing through star-dusted halls on the marble-tiled floor of my memory in the frosted blue mirror above me.